Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 15 of designing an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. We are at the official halfway point. I cannot believe it, but let's see what Isabel has for us today. Oh no, tomorrow we bid a fond farewell to Rooney. Ugh, I'm so sad. Let's take this sadness and channel it into our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, shake my trees, and water my flowers. Hey Sable, got more stuff for me? Got the goods? Yes, give it to me. Also, Dizzy's doing zoomies in Felicity's yard. That's nice. Felicity is also home. Let's see if she's crafting. Indeed she is. Indeed she is. I just had this gut feeling, you know? Me and Felicity were just like soulmates, basically. Hanging terrarium. Yay. I love stuff that I can't put outside of my island. Thank you, Felicity. Anyways, I just think I want to do my daily stuff. And then we're going to go to tomorrow because look, I know. I know you guys just want to see the villager hunt. Okay. Hey, guys. Um... Not really interested in any of this stuff. Maybe this? Yeah, I'll buy this. Maybe if we do like some sort of restaurant or cafe or something, I will also take this puzzle. And why not? I'll take this food that's here too. Now the question is, do they have the umbrella today? They do not. I'll take this one though. I can't remember if I bought this. I just buy like all the gingham ones because I feel like they're cute. And we scram. And lastly, I think I'm going to do my Nook Miles Plus tasks just to get some extra Nook Miles for the hunt tomorrow. So I'm going to go fish, take a picture, uh, sell a hot item. Okay. Redeem Nook Miles. Okay. And plant some flowers. All right. See you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. It is the 11. Today's announcements. Campsites. Oh my goodness, don't throw this curveball at me, Isabel. Okay, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna skip the daily routine. We have a lot going on. We can't afford to waste time right now. Oh my goodness, we have an open plot and campsite. Are you kidding me? Well, here's my message in a bottle at least. I looked for my message in a bottle and I got a tree standy. Cute. I actually might use that. Okay, okay, okay. Who do we want? Who do we want? That's the question. I think Lily is the ultimate dreamy for this island. I want to pair her up with Frobert. She's just a sweet little froggy and I love her little rosy cheeks. So Lily is the ultimate dreamy if I had to choose an ultimate dreamy. But we'll see who we get. We'll see who we get. I doubt we get another frog because we just got drift. So let's, let's see. Are you... Are you dead serious right now? No, don't even come close to me. Ah, yeah, we're uh, we're going villager hunting. Yeah, no, what what kind of nonsense was that? Oh my goodness. Hopefully that was all of our bad luck and we just have good luck on this hunt. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to say I grabbed my five tickets that I had left over from our last hunt. So we're starting off with five, but I have the ability to take out five more. And you know, as usual, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I even need to take out five more. Last time, last time it was a one ticket hunt. So who knows? Anything's possible. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's Mac. He's cute. You know, I actually wouldn't mind taking him. I think he could fit. He's a cute little doggy. I'm not gonna take him. Do I particularly like him? Not really, so he would not qualify for the list. I am gonna take a bamboo tree though, just as a little souvenir and away we go. I'm trying to think of what I'm craving right now. Honestly, I'm craving like some sort of like fun drink, like a soda or like a, not really a milkshake, like a, like a Baja Blast. Mm, I'm craving a Baja Blast right now. All right, they're making us climb. They're making us climb. Does that mean it's a good one? Um, I mean, it depends. I think she's cute. I think Gloria is very cute, but she is not what I'm currently looking for. I'm so sorry, Gloria. I am gonna ransack all of these rocks though. Nice, I got a gold nugget. This was so worth it. Listen, Orville, I don't have to get my perfect dreamy, okay? I know you think that I'm picky and I want the ultimate dreamy and I have such high taste, but no, all I need is someone that I like. That's it, my dude. I will even Venmo you $5. Just keep it on the down low. Come on. You got this. Oh my goodness. Look who we have. Shever. She is so cute. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna take her because I have Nan on my farm court island and it's only fitting that I have Shever on one of my other islands. Move to my island, bestie. You'll love it there. It's amazing. We have flowers. You like flowers, right? Okay, there we go. We invited Shever. I'm very happy with her. I am very, very happy with her. She is so cute. I feel like she fits in well enough. And best part, I like her. I actually like her. So it's perfect. And see, this is why I only started off with a few amount of tickets. I think we actually had six because this was 
Yeah, we saw the dog, and then we saw Gloria, and then we saw Shever. So yeah, I think I had six tickets, not five actually. But that is why I don't start off by just blowing all my Nook Miles on redeeming tickets. I like to save them just in case. You know, we've done two really short hunts in a row. So I think it's a smart move just to kind of like save them up and only redeem tickets as you need to. And I just realized I forgot to check the other two islands for the item that's in the trees. Whoops. <laughs> we got a bottled ship. Cute. All right, Shever, I'll see you back at home, okay? Okay, I think that went very well. We got Shever. I think her house is going to look so cute here. And she's going to be right next to the ice cream shop. So maybe that can be her little ice cream shop that she runs. Oh my goodness. And she makes the ice cream out of goat milk. I'm going to put my inventory away. And then we will get to working on our neighborhood. We will continue to work on our neighborhood. That's where we left off yesterday. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, hello, Wilson. What's up? Heartbreak. Thank you. Yeah, that's exactly what I felt when I got you in the campsite. All right, let's see what we're working with here. We got Felicity's house nice and done. We have ye old Quilson's house. Um, I'll maybe hold off on decorating that until I know that there's a villager who, you know, is going to be staying there for sure forever. And we also have Dizzy's house. I will be keeping him for sure. He's got a pretty big yard. He's got all of this to the right and all of this in front. And then going down past Winnie's completed house, we also have Bo's house. I think let's work on Bo's house first because his looks uh, less intimidating. <laughs> I'm thinking a tree right here and our bamboo tree that we stole from the island right here. And then really we just got to fill up with decorations. He doesn't have that much space anyway, so this is not going to be too difficult. And his little log cabin is so cute. Okay, I think I'm going to put a rocking chair right here. I feel like a rocking chair on the exterior is just like so cute. I don't know what it is about it, but I love me a good rocking chair outside of someone's house. Then I'll do a little step in stone. Let's see. I think Bo is a lazy, right? So I'm thinking, let's give him a little table full of some like snacks and stuff. I'm just going to put down some custom designs first, of course, because if we're going to place down a piece of furniture, what's the point unless we put down custom designs? Then I'm going to put down a tea table. This is a lot of brown. Hmm. I'm going to want to mix it up with some other stuff. I don't know what, but we also have Nook Mouse. I don't even know what for. I've just been decorating for using my Nook phone. <laughs> Okay, I guess because I was using it for the custom designs. That's so funny. And then I'm going to give him a little cushion to sit on and eat at the table. No, nope. okay, don't sit on it. That's for Bo's booty only. Little mushroom platform on the side. Yes, yes. In this little crevice, I'll do some flowers. Maybe some planks. And let me go get some food items to put on that table real quick. Oh, we got a balloon. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Don't think that you can escape me because you can't. We were destined to be together. A rescue mannequin? What? Who puts a dead body in a balloon? Okay, I'm back and I got food for Bo. I got him a little pitcher for his drink and his little sandwich and some spices. Now I'm going to go in with some fencing. We're gonna mark out his little yard area, just like that. And I'm gonna put some custom designs, I'm gonna do some planks. And because there's some empty space back here and I don't know what to do with it, you know, custom designs. Okay, there, little circle, you know, good enough. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start up the island designer. We're gonna give Bo some cute little flowers outside. Okay, there we go, just like that. Ignore the fact that they're not all yellow. Okay, I was too lazy to run all the way to the other side of the island. And then honestly, I'm just obsessed with this simple well. So I'm gonna put this here to uh, fill up this other space. And then I just noticed that we don't have this one last piece of the path. There we go. Nice and connected. I'm just going to spruce it up a little bit with some weeds. We'll do some little chicks over here. So cute. And there we go. That's Bo's house finished. I'm just moving this tree down and over one space. There we go. Let me just let me just finish off with some other details like some custom designs back here. Some more weeds. You know, the stuff I like. But there we go. Bo's house is done. Beautiful, beautiful chef's kiss. Okay, one last detail. One last detail. Hold on. Butterfly, go. Oh, and then we could put another tree. Hold on. <laughs> this is always what happens. I think I'm done. And then I just think of 
additional details that I can add. And then I start just like totally going overboard and, you know, just extending the yard far past what I thought it should be in the first place. But okay, that helps a little bit. That tree in the front. Yes. Okay, now I would say it's done. Now I would say it's done. Bo, your house is good to go. Or good to bow. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here for the rest of the month. And we have another balloon. Place your bets. What's in this one? Is it something useful or is it another dead body? Who knows? Only time will tell. Okay, the time has passed. It's a pile of leaves. Oh, I'm actually really excited about that. Wait. Yes. Okay, it is the brown version. Can you customize this? Wait, oh, baby, you need pine cones? Are you kidding me? No, I don't have pine cones. What other villager houses do I have left? Winnie's part of the neighborhood. Quilson's part of the neighborhood. Rory on the beach. Cat on the beach. Robert's chillin' on the opposite side of the island. He's just a loner, you know? Dizzy's in the neighborhood, Bo's in the neighborhood, Marina chillin', she's a loner, Felicity's in the neighborhood. Okay, so Kat and Rory are the last two houses that we have to move over to the neighborhood. So let's go talk to Mr. Nook, go blow our bells. All right, Kat, you have been chosen. Where are we thinking? I'm definitely thinking to the right of Bo somewhere in this general area i don't know i'm just gonna start imagining it oh no that is way too close <laughs> i need to rethink that i think i think this is good yeah i'm gonna do this and now i'm just gonna go ahead and continue this path connect it on over but i'm gonna choose to take this down and then we will extend right towards cat's home and it'll lead us right to where we need to go and then this just ends right here at the beach <laughs> I don't know, maybe this can be an entrance to like something that I got going on on the beach. Let me work on some tree placement. My favorite thing to do in the entire world. Literally just moving this bad boy up by one space. Fixing this. Ah, uh, yes. Everything's right in the world. And I don't know, I guess this can go here. I don't know. I'll probably end up changing that. I have no clue. I'm gonna do some more fencing. Just use up these last three pieces of fence that I have in my inventory right now. Just gonna put them right here. They look so cute. And then honestly, this is going to be Flower City yet again. These flowers are working overtime to compensate for my lack of brain cells. Yeah, I'm I'm having a very no brain cells day today. It is 1 a.m. for me. So sorry if I sound a little bit tired, but I'm going to try my best to keep up the energy in this Able Sister speed build. We got a little bit of a shorter video today because I decided to chop up this whole build in kind of like this short, quick little kind of style that I like to do sometimes. Just showing you literally just like step by step what I placed, but you know, cutting out all that filler. There's nothing too remarkable about this build that I did. I just tried my best to use the very few sewing related items that I was able to get my grubby little hands on. I got that loom, I got the like sewing machine thing, I got that little pile of folded clothes, and just with those three items I was like, you know what, I can I can whip something up here. I was like, okay, it's time for Abel's. <laughs> so I don't know why I very abruptly just started to do this. I don't know why there was no transition between this and my brain cell joke. I apologize for that. Sometimes when I'm filming, if it's earlier in the day, I'll just be like, all right, I hit stop on my recording and I just freaking leave. And it's like, great, you know, thanks for giving me a warning. No, no little breaky break, no mention of a breaky break, like, come on. So then it's up to voiceover Raven to pick up the slack and do that little transition. So anyways, I was just, again, doing my best with the items that I had. I had that little wardrobe. I thought that would be cute. If you, you do want to change your outfit, you can do it over by Abel's. I got that little mirror you know it's only fitting you can check yourself out with your new outfit um you know had this little stall here i don't know i just picked this green gingham for everything and i put some of the clothing stuff and put that little ironing board thingy again just the very few items that i had but i thought the little button custom design was also very cute for able sisters very cute so i did put it a, a lot near Abel's. I, I used it a lot, <laughs> but I think it's very fitting. So, you know, this isn't anything too special, but it's very cute. It works. It's functional. Just going in with flowers and weeds to finish it up and we're already done. Can you believe it? I just rambled about nonsense for like, I don't know, two minutes. Anyways, this is how it came out. I hope you like it. Like I said, it's a little bit of a short one today. We're going to wrap it up right here. That is all I got done on this day in Animal Crossing, day 15. I know I didn't mention it much, but oh my goodness, halfway there, what the heck? I know I keep saying it, I can't believe how much we've gotten done, but like, I just can't believe how much we've gotten done, and I can't wait to finish this 
um, so I can take a break, but also so we can see how the island turns out, you know, both things. I can want both things. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Please don't forget to like this video on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.